हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इज बेस्ड अपॉन अ वेरी गुड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेशियोज एंड परसेंटेजेस द सेम क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन कैट टू थाउजेंड एटीन स्लॉट टू एज वेल सो लेट एस रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज देर वर टू ड्रम्स ईच कंटेनिंग अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ए एंड बी इन ड्रम वन ए एंड बी आर इन द रेशियो एटीन रेशियो सेवन ड्रम वन एंड ड्रम टू आर मिक्सड इन द रेशियो ऑफ थ्री इज टू फोर and in this final mixture a and b are in the ratio of 13 ratio 7 ratio of a and b in drum 2 is so basically we have two drums we have one drum over here then we have second drum so in drum 1 a and b they are in ratio 18 is to 7 then we were given that drum 1 and drum 2 are mixed in ratio of 3 is to 4 so now we are mixing these in 3 is to 4 ratio so due to this we are getting a final mixture and in this final mixture a and b are in ratio 13 is to 7 so after this we are getting a final mixture over here in which a and b are in ratio 13 is to 7 so at last we have been asked that ratio of a and b in drum 2 is so let me assume so we need to find out the ratio of a and b over here in the second drum now in such questions we'll always start by assuming some particular volume of each drum so how to assume we can see that in drum 1 over here a and b are in ratio 18 is to 7 so we'll assume the volume which will be a multiple of 18 plus 7 so 18 plus 7 is nothing but 25 so definitely whatever volume will assign to drum 1 it should be a multiple of 25 now since we are mixing drum 1 and drum 2 in 3 ratio 4 so we can take the volume of drum 1 equal to 25 into 3 since we are mixing three parts of it so 25 into 3 becomes 75 so we assume that volume of drum 1 is 75 we are mixing it in 3 ratio 4 so if volume of drum 1 is 75 volume of drum 2 will be 100 i hope this is clear since it should be 3 ratio 4 so it is 75 this will be 100 so in drum 1 it will be 75 drum 2 will be 100 now if we mix drum 1 and drum 2 will be getting the total volume equal to 175 because 75 plus 100 gives us 175 now in drum 1 i said that the volume of drum 1 will be assumed as the multiple of some of these two ratios 18 plus 7 so multiple of 25 similarly the final mixture that we are getting over here its volume should be a multiple of 13 plus 7 that means a multiple of 20 now when we mix drum 1 and drum 2 we are getting the volume as 175 so the final mixture that we are getting it should be a multiple of 175 as well as well as 20 so that means volume of final mixture should be a multiple of 175 as well and 20 as well so that means we'll take the lcm of 175 and 20 which gives me nothing but 700 so that means we'll take the new volume of this final mixture as 700 so we get 700 when we multiply 175 by 4 so if 175 is getting multiplied by 4 all the volumes in all the drums will be multiplied by 4 so that means this 75 will also be multiplied by 4 this 100 will also be multiplied by 4 so now the new volume that will be getting of drum 1 it will be 300 new volume of drum 2 will be 400 and of this final mixture will be 700 let me erase everything else I hope it is clear. First of all, we'll assume the volume of each container as the sum of its ratios, and then according to that, we'll assign the volumes. So that means some volume of A from drum one, some volume of A from drum two, they will together make how much volume in the final mixture? Let us find out the final volume of A and B in the final mixture. It will be thirteen upon twenty into seven hundred. This will be the volume of A. So this will come out as. 455 so out of this 700 455 is a so b will be 700 minus 455 which gives me 245 
now in this final mixture this 445 units of a is coming some from drum 1 some from drum 2 so let us find out volume of a in drum 1 it will be 18 upon 25 into 300 which gives me 216 so that means out of this 455 216 units are coming from drum 1 so remaining will come from drum 2 so volume of a in drum 2 it will be 455 minus 216 which will give me 239 so in drum 2 a will be 239 units and we know that total volume of mixture in drum 2 it is 400 so the remaining will be b so 400 minus 239 which gives me 161 that will be b so this is the ratio of volumes of a and b in drum 2 option c will be the correct answer i hope you have understood this there is another method to solve this question let us look into that as well another method is we can simply assume that in drum 2 a and b are in ratio x ratio 1 now since this x corresponds to a that means we'll equate the volume of a first of all we'll mix volume of a from drum 1 and drum 2 and then we'll equate it with the final volume of a in this final mixture now from drum 1 there are three parts of a coming out and what is the proportion of a in drum 1 it is 18 upon 18 plus 7 and since three parts are coming so we'll multiply this by 3 so 3 into 18 upon 18 plus 7 means 25 and four parts of a are coming from drum 2 so that will also be added four parts of what is the proportion of a in drum 2 it will be x upon x plus 1 so x upon x plus 1 and we'll write the sum of ratios over here 3 plus 4 because we are finding out the proportion of a in this final mixture and it is in 3 ratio 4 so ratios added will be written at the bottom this must be equal to the proportion of a in final mixture that means 13 upon 13 plus 7 which gives us 13 upon 20 now if you solve this equation by cross multiplication you will get x equals to 239 by 161 and we know that the ratio assumed was x ratio 1 so x ratio 1 means nothing but just 239 ratio 161 so option c again will be the correct answer so this is another method the first method was you have to play with the ratios and you have to perform subtraction and addition so i hope everything is clear if there's a doubt please comment thank you